This is one of my new ones. I'm going to be working with that tonight. Everybody faring pretty good, considering what's going on. This one says, home is where you roost. And I've actually put um, two candy canes together. And we're going to make like a farmhouse style. If you all wouldn't mind sharing the love, spreading the love, whatever, <laughs> I appreciate it. This, this computer is kind of working some of the time, not all the time. See, like now it's freezing again. Oh my. We're right back to the same old stuff where I can't share anything. Okay. Be that way. All right. So what I have is I have this mesh. It is a deco mesh and it has like a burlap through it. Can you see it? I thought this would be a real nice um, contrast to the sign, which also has the black and it looks like burlap in here. I cut these at 24 inches. So they're 10 inch mesh cut at 24 inches. And I think I'm going to do this method where you roll up both ends and then squish it together. Which I think is called the woodland ruffle, if I'm not mistaken. Y'all doing good? Are you spreading the love for me? I'd really appreciate it because it's not letting me do anything. Now with this method, you can either have your curls up or your curls down. So I think we're going to do curls down. started thank you darling I appreciate it we started closing some of the counties in our state anybody else closed down yet hey Willie how you doing down there in Virginia we're doing I cut these at 24 inches got two candy canes put together and I'm putting the curls down and we're going to be using my new sign home is where you roost yes it's good to see you I hope everybody is staying healthy and and some people they will curl one side like this and put something over top of it and curl up the other side and then scrunch it together. And I'm putting the curls down. I wanted this to have like a farm house style to it. Oh no. Oh no. But they got them off those beaches. What the heck is wrong with those people? We've had, I think, two deaths in the state. There's none in our county yet, but let me tell you, it is zooming in on us. So, it's getting scary. And I've got people calling from all over that want to come and look at the puppies and I'm really afraid letting them come in oh oh no well I'm glad you're staying in I went out yesterday to grab some last minute stuff but for the most part I am in but 
it's really scary. Hi, Chad. How's Miss Miracle? Hi, Steve. How are ya? Miss you guys. I'm glad you're staying safe. Jeanette, I am in um, Hughesville, Pennsylvania. It's northern central Pennsylvania. We're out of the Philly, we're not in the Philly area or the Monroe County area near the Poconos where most of this is all coming in. There's a lot of people that travel from the one area to New York daily for work. And I think that's what um, triggered all that we have. So, but we're all trying to be diligent, but wow, is it scary. I know you guys are staying in, Chad. I'm missing all my babies. I'm down to five puppies, but I think three of them are going by the weekend, so then we'll be down to two. So that's going to be fun. We had snow today. We had snow, and we also had um, sleet, and the sun tried to come out before dinner, and then it disappeared. <laughs> so there's no telling. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. Tell us all where you're from and what's it like in your neck of the woods. I just closed school, I think, for two more weeks. So, I don't know. These are cut at 24 inches, it's 10 inch mesh. There might be some gaps and that's okay because I'm gonna fill it in with some, um, some bows. Yes, this is one of my new signs, home is where you roost. My signs are always $10 with um, plus shipping. And it is for sale. I have more where that came from. And you all saw my Be Gnome, Be Kind wreath. I made a few um, license plates this weekend too. The Yorkie Mom one, and I'm working on a Yorkie Dad one, and you name it. Yes. Okay. Wow. I know my daughter in law works at a bank, and they're only open through the drive-thru now, which is probably what Lisa's bank is doing, right? It's a scary time. I've never ever witnessed anything like this and I'm hoping that things get better is there any confirmed cases in your neck of the woods Chad we don't have any in Lycoming County yet but each day oh okay that's good 
so she doesn't have to touch anything really. Another one cut. There it is. Got away from me. I know, but it's scary. The governor has closed several northeastern counties. On Wednesday at 2 o'clock, right here, we will have our first um, child's craft hour. I did on my site um, put a list of um, items needed. All right, so this was a candy cane, um, two candy canes put together. We did, there's 12 on here. I did them, I cut them at 24 inches, it's 10 inch mesh. Right, you're probably right, Chad. So what I did was I also cut this. This is a fabric mesh that has um, fraying on the ends. And I also have this. What I'm trying to do is coordinate with the sign and give it a little uh, different texture. So these were cut at 18 inches. So I'm just gonna do a regular um, ruffle with this in every other one. Slippery little bugger. I had some of this and not enough and I thought well why not combine the two and that should um, cover up any spaces that I have in between because I only did 12 so I thought every other one will do this just to give it a little punch and these are like this isn't real stiff so like I said I just wanted some different textures in there But as you can see from the sign, it has the red, the black, the beige, and the white. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> I just love the farmhouse country look of this sign so I wanted to build off of that and I'm trying to create from what I have I noticed that um, oh crap well that's good that it was the first one because we can just move this down <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful if it was the last one? Um, I noticed, I saw the notice about um, Craft Outlet shutting down. And I thought, you know, you have enough supplies. You don't need any more. So let's work with what we have and create some really unique things. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, yes, Miss Red, she went local. She went to Montoursville. She's doing really good. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of their other Yorkie. They were here a lot. They spent a lot of time with her. Um, we have somebody interested in Miss Pink or Mr. Little Boy Blue. They're hopefully going to decide by the morning because if they don't want little boy blue, there's somebody else that does. Um, 
so I'm so we'll see you know they don't go until I feel where they're going is going to be be good so I don't care how long it takes I just want people that are walking <laughs> they you know I, I'm not trying to make fun of people that are disabled but you, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of a puppy. I mean, it's that simple. Especially when they're taking care of themselves and they, you know, don't have anybody to help them take care of the puppy. So, I had to um, let a gentleman down and I felt horrible, but I think he understood. Because I, I was so fearful that he was going to fall on the puppy and hurt himself and the puppy. So, Probably liked her a lot because I know she resembles Miss um, Miracle. The stuff is now going up my nose and making my nose itch. <laughs> not going to add tails to the end. I want to um, figure out where I want my sign to go and then I'm going to do a couple of bows. I do have some eggs that I can add. So it's going to be a design as you go. I want it to be different. I want it to be unique. And I want to design on the fly. So that's what we're doing. See, this does have some, this is about 10 inches wide, and it does have some wire on the edges. I couldn't even tell you where I got it. I've had it that long. It was probably just a roll of 10 inch mesh. Well, it isn't really even mesh. It's more like a roping. But I thought it would lend a different texture to the design. Hi, Taffy. Hi, Miracle. Hey, pretty girl. Chad is talking about Miracle and Taffy. They are puppies of mine that they um, they bought for me. A lot of my puppies watch me on my lives and run around the house looking all over for me because they hear me, but they can't find me. So it gets it's 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 fun entertainment, cheap entertainment. <laughs> They know Mama Robin. Miracle. And everybody knows Miracle. Because we didn't think she was going to make it. Hi, Susan. How are you? We're working with a candy cane. Two candy canes put together. My black with um, burlap going through it is 10 inch mesh cut at 24 inches. And the red mesh block here, roping, whatever you want to call it, is cut at 18. We did the woodland ruffle, and now we're just doing a plain ruffle with the two different kinds of um, mesh for the top. Hi Esther, how are you? How are you doing in Canada? Glad to hear that, Susan. I'm really worried about everybody. 
I'm just glad that we can chat. And if any of you um, didn't see it in my post today, I'm actually doing a children's craft hour on Wednesday at 2 o'clock. I put a list of items that you would need. Hi, Cheryl. And um, I just thought it'd be something different to do for the kids stuck at home that want to want to do something different. Give mom a break. Maybe she can just take a seat and or throw another load of laundry in or who knows. So it's a craft that would probably be okay for children ages. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say probably ages three up to 10 or 12. All right, so there's what we got so far. Let's uh, see, I chose all of the colors from in the um, sign. So I think we're gonna put this on next. And I ran out of the black tinsel tie, so we're gonna use the silver. going to go up there so this one I'm going to take down through here it's very easy with this to get through here thank you Willie yeah I I I feel it's time to give back a little. I'm, I feel it's time that we got to help these moms out. And I shared that last week on my live on Wednesday. Um, I used to run a daycare in my home for 14 and a half years. And I know that our local school district is not supplying the children with homework. They're not supplying them with online anything. So... I know, there you go, Elaine, can you see it? Home is where I, where you roost. It's my newest sign. How's that? So I felt it was necessary to start um, helping the moms out by giving them some activities or a little bit of free time. So, besides, I, I really hope that my granddaughter can watch and uh, give her something to do. I know. Got a lot of children out there that don't understand what's going on, and I thought, you know, just a little simple activity would be awesome. You are so welcome. Thank you. I, I chose these colors mainly because I've had this ribbon for a long, long time and a lot of it, which by the way is 60 cents a yard if anybody's interested. So I wanted the Harlequin in there and I wanted some chicken wire in there. So I tried to play off what, um, what, um, ribbon that I had. That's what's nice about making your own signs. You can go with like this. I've had it for a long time, never used it. So now it was time to create a sign that I could use it with. So that was the whole purpose behind what I did. And don't forget, I told everybody last week that my little signs are now three for ten dollars plus shipping like this one says seek beautiful things be kind 
um, I showed you that I used these in making little floral arrangements and instead of adding a card this is your card you can take a magnet and put string underneath it and then tie it to your your floral arrangement or whatever this one says follow the Sun yes right yes it's really hard and then my get well the happy birthday one chocolate is the key to happiness <laughs> mayan anyhow <laughs> welcome baby in pink and blue and then i have a new one that says life is better with a yorkie and just a girl who loves yorkies and I'm, i know there's another one um i make them susan i have my own um, sublimation printer and i don't have any of the paper down here but what i do is i print on a special paper with the special ink and then you take the ink you take the paper and you fold it over the sides and tape it down and then you use a heat press the little things I even have this where it says nothing bugs a lady you just tell me what you want on it Susan I can I can do anything um, follow the Sun and I'm still waiting on my bike wheels to come in so I can make this and put it on a bike wheel I have um, personalized license plates this one says um, horses leave hoof prints on your heart these are for children's rooms and I designed these I use this just for now but I do have um, I'm I'm trying to locate a special ribbon that'll go in here but that's Gordon my grandson this is Eve my granddaughter she's a twin to Alex and then this one says Monroe's room oh this one says Robin and Joe <laughs> um, be kind I have this in pink and blue I go to sleep counting sheep then we have the horse one in this size we also have this one pink lemonade and stop and smell the flowers and this was my newest one whatever floats your flamingo and then Nolan's room so there's several to choose from I'm still working on a butterfly one and a cardinal one so I hope to have those done soon all right now for this let's see I may just put one down here and one up here and then I don't know if I'm going to do tails or I'm going to do eggs or what I haven't quite decided so these signs are nine by seven so I'm going to put this one down first okay and let me just try my easy bow and see if I want to um, use the easy bow you know why is this coming out I'm going to go with this one first use the easy bow all the time but occasionally I like to and you just see I think 
I'm going to just do two. I may change my mind. Women have been known to do that. Right, Steve? <laughs> okay, then we're going to use our Harlequin. And the Harlequin, like I said, is 60 cents a yard, if anybody's interested. And I'm doing them about the loops about six inches on the first two rows. And then, oops, it's just about the same. So let's fix it before I cut it. I'm going to go with this one next. And no, wait. No. Where is my tan? I'm going to go with a solid tan one next, and I'm going to back it down to like five and a half. Now, I'm going to do this one. Yep. Now, with this, because I want my... Yeah, that one. I was trying to make sure that this doesn't look like it's upside down when it comes back down. Yep, it is. So, because I want my ribbon to go straight coming down. I'm actually going to cut it here and add the tail back in so that all my ribbon is going in the same direction. The other ribbon will be on top of it so it's not going to show it the little piece that I cut. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what color do I want next? Do I want this? Or do I want this? Or, no, I don't want that one. So let me see. I think I'm going to go with the solid red next, and then I'll go with that one. Like I said, this is going to cover over it. You won't even see that I spliced it, and now that it's all going in the right direction. <clears throat> Thank you, Esther. My computer is not letting me share right now. It's being difficult. Okay. Now, do I want this? Or do I want this as my next one? I think I'm going to go with this. Because I already have enough tan in here. 
but I want to pull some of the white out. So that's what we're going with next. And with this one, I'm going to add three loops because it's going to be the last one. Oop, wait a minute. See? Guys aren't going on top of this. <laughs> Neither am I. <laughs> liking these combinations and again okay like this one's 36 cents a yard I have everything priced out by the yard so if anybody sees me using my sign and wants to um, you know duplicate the color scheme or whatever all they have to do is ask because I do have plenty of ribbon I buy all my ribbon I try to buy all my ribbon in 50 yard rolls. I so appreciate that, Esther. Thank you. Hey, Lisa. Welcome. And because I have a little piece of this left, I may put this in there somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Now. <clears throat> because I don't have very far to go, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. Because I don't have any red left. So. Aw, oh, thank you. <clears throat> I'm liking the colors. It's, it's exactly what I wanted. Now, I am going to share with everybody... Um, there's a lot of people out there that have started making huge, big red bows to put on their front porches. It's to signify hope and love. Um, I did post it in Lori's group today, challenging everyone to put a red bow out on their porch. So I'm even going to put up some Christmas lights. Plain, of course. But I just feel that we need a little bit of color, a little bit of hope. So, I'm encouraging everybody to take the challenge and put a bow on their porch. So, if any of you want to participate, that would be awesome. I think it's time to put a little cheer in the world. We need it. There, and all my tails go in the same direction because we twisted that one around, trimmed it. And I'm encouraging everyone to check on their elderly neighbors if they have any, see if they need anything. We got to take care of each other because government is handling a lot of the heavy stuff so we've got to we've got to help each other my neighbor called me the other day because they saw a huge truck in my driveway and they wanted to know if I was getting a big shipment of toilet paper and I said no I've got a big shipment of dog food for all my customers and I encouraged everyone to buy for the month. Don't worry, Lisa, I got your back. Um, because I didn't know what the shipments were going to be like. So, 
So yes, and I'm meeting everybody at the door. They can order from the driveway and I'll bring it out to their car. All right, so there's one bow. And oh my gosh, that looks so good against those colors and with that sign. Sorry, when you spend a lot of time and you're designing the sign, you just have a vision in mind. And it's so nice to see that vision just all come together. So that's what I'm doing. Bring it at all to life. Did you get an easy bow? All right, Esther. That's awesome. Okay, so there's the first bow. There we go. What do y'all think? I could um, twirl some of this up. Yes, it's time to brighten the world a little bit. Now, who is Dave? I don't know Dave. Welcome. We are working on two candy canes put together. Working with my newest sign, Home is Where You Roost. We have 10 inch mesh cut at 24 inches for the woodland ruffle. And then we have two kinds of mesh put on top to give it some texture and they were cut at 18 inches. Well, that's nice to see other people on here. That's awesome. Oops, we missed one. <coughs> Thank you, Cheryl. I'm loving the colors. I mean, they just go perfect with the sign, don't they? Look at that. Now, I think we'll put another one at the top, and then we'll decide if we're gonna add some eggs or not. May add some white eggs. I've got white eggs. I think the white eggs are gonna be better. I think they'll go better with the, um, mesh I think they look better than the um, oh yeah even though okay our chickens don't lay white eggs they lay brown eggs <laughs> but I think that'll that'll go better than the brown eggs will all right so let's make a little one for up top and I think this one, I'm not going to do a bunch of tails. I think I'm going to stay kind of simple with it. Um, I think that's the way I want to go. So I'm going to kind of go in the same, um, the same sequence that I went with this one. So. I want my loops about six inches. Now with this one, I think I am going to add loops to this bow. Just this one to kind of jet off out the side. Not real big. Only about eight inches. How you doing, Ange? So 
let's put this at like five and a half. I'm using the easy bow. And then we'll do like a eight inch tail. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just do eight inch tails, just short tails, not long like we've got down here. We'll just go ahead and do, I'll decrease it by a half an inch with each layer. Because I just want it to kind of top off the top. I don't want it, I don't want the loops or the tails really long. So, and I'm using pretty much the same sequence as the bottom bow. We had the chicken wire ribbon. And this one I'm not going to cut because I can twist this upward so it will still be visually going in the direction that I want it to go in. Right. Now we've got the red. with the last um, layer here I'm going to add a third loop in the middle because I find that third loop helps me hide the um, boy this ribbon's really stiff it will help me hide the uh, zip tie so that's why I'm adding that small third loop. Need a zip tie. This one, I have a little piece of white here, tinsel tie, so I'm going to use that before I zip it all the way so it can pull that down and secure it. So let's fluff out our bow. So if I have a loop here, I want a loop. Uh 
Uh-oh. Guess what it didn't catch. <laughs> no problemo. We will just attach it with the, um, the tinsel tie. It didn't catch. That's okay. It's the last layer we can fix that. Right? There you go. Alright. So, like this up here. Put this one. And this one down here. side by side. We don't want them side by side. We want them opposite. Turn this around. Now this one, I'll bring it down this way, but this one I will pull it up this way because visually it'll be going in the direction that I want it to go. Three loop in the middle. See, because I can flatten that out and then it covers the zip tie. So let's go back and do our dovetails. Got it. <laughs> oh, everybody comments on my scissors. These are actually for um, upholstery. Um, I used to do motorcycle seats and tractor seats and snowmobile seats. I was being taught by the best. And he's missed a lot passed away and he taught me a lot so so anytime I get a chance to use his scissors I I have fond memories because I told the story one time on my live he uh, he said we have a boat seat we have some boat seats or a boat cover or something to do and I said oh is it big? He said, no, no, not that big. We get to the customer's house and we needed a ladder to get up in the boot. That's how big it was. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> For him, it was easy peasy. For me, it was like, what? But he was, he was awesome to learn from. Very patient, very understanding. Um, yeah. So, a lot of fond memories of those times in his shop sewing this gigantic boat cover. Um, he's a special person. He will always hold a special place in my heart and be missed. Um, we lost a really, really sweet man who was very creative very creative so yeah all right so there's our little bow again I didn't want it to overpower I wanted short simple little um, tails so it wasn't taking over that bow hi nanny dot how are you 
Yes, they're very nice memories, Cheryl. He was a big part of our life. He was actually dating my mother. <laughs> and uh, he was a big part of my business, too. Because I really got a lot of customers and we really built our base and, you know. So. All right. So let's put this on the top. Yeah, see, just the right size that I wanted. It doesn't overpower the bottom bow, but it still gives it a nice, simple look. Okay, Susan, let me know what you need on that sign and I got you covered, okay? Have a good night. Yeah, it just, just simple. Oh, we missed a, there we go. And like I said, I want this going one way and I want this going the other way so it doesn't look like it's upside down. That just, that drives me insane when you have a bow and the, the ribbon is not going the direction it should be. Oh, thanks, Jen. All right, so there we go so far. So now I think we're gonna add some eggs. Not so much a bunch of ties or tails, I mean. No, I think let's just keep it simple. What do you think? I'm just counting off my ties here to see if I want to add all eggs to each tie. Let me see. These were last year, $1.98 at Walmart. I, when I saw them, I bought them up because I was doing a lot of farmhouse reset time. So, so let's see what this will look like we add one in each it may end up being too much and I may just tone it down or put one in every other one let's just see you can put one in every other one or put one in every one Okay, what do you think? One in every one or one in every other one? Turn it around. Thanks, Jen. What are you thinking? One in every one or one in every other one? Every other one. Okay. It doesn't give me an odd number, but I could always... Put one in the bow. And then, let's see. We're doing that. I'm into the bows lately. I'm starting to dread the tails. I'm into the bows. Okay. Every other one. We got it. To do this, you can fold it like this and bring it down like this if you wanted it to be even. I kind of like it like this better.
don't mind me, I'm just visualizing here. I know, just sometimes tails can just be just so much. I think what I'll do, I'll put a bow in every other one, then I'll put two eggs here, two eggs over here, and then I'll put one in the middle of the bow. That way I get my odd number. I think I like that. What do you think? I'm loving this ribbon. This ribbon is, this is the first time I opened it up. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving the color. I'm loving the stiffness of it. Now these have a little hole in them. So I should be able to, let's see, I'm going to use that because I'll end up poking a bigger hole than I want in it. Should just heat it. Duh. Uh, if it would stay, we're going to put it in the styrofoam and we're going to push this hot glue gun down to open that hole up a little more. There we go. Don't burn my hand. And then look at that. Perfect. Woo -woo. Stick with me, guys. I'll teach you some tricks. <laughs> I'm just using that to kind of warm it up so I can poke a bigger hole down in there. So then all I have to do is put it on the tinsel tie. But you know what? We're going to cut that tinsel tie a little bit shorter. And then it'll go down in. Yes. Sweet. Yes, it is. You could use this for just about anything. Puts a little black in there. Punch of black. Just put this up here. Get our dovetail going. I'm going to put a little hot glue on this tinsel tie. I'm loving these colors with the sign. That's, I'm really, really loving it. It's coming. The vision is, is happening. Okay, so I'm going to tuck these under. Pull this up a little to disguise the tinsel tie. There we go. Hi, Bev. Hey, Ty. How are you? Thanks for joining. There we go. Just chicks laying eggs everywhere. All right. And then, like I said, I'm going to put one inside the bow. Actually, I could just put it in that one loop like that. Let's do this. Yeah, like that. And then let's just put that egg right there in the middle. Or 
like that. All right. So we're going to put just a little bit of glue there. There we go. This is one of my new signs. Home is where you roost. We're putting on our little, um, we'll just do a little bows. And putting some eggs in here. And we're using our glue gun to put the little hole down in the egg. Just warm it up a bit. And then we take our knitting needle, our bent knitting needle, <laughs> and we put a little glue on the tinsel tie and push it right down over top. There we go. We'll do this one here and put the last of our bows on and we are done. I don't know what time it is. Let me look. Yeah. Maybe I'll do another live sometime tomorrow and make our red bow for our house. Um, encouraging everybody to make a red bow and stick it outside on your porch to bring a little cheer to the world because we definitely need it. Now we'll make three more bows and we're done. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. I even have some um, ribbon that just has the um, chicken wire on it. I have a blue and I have a black. miss you guys, Ty and Esther. Things are starting to get back to a little bit of normalcy, but then we've got all this dealing with. So, I don't know. I'm not liking the new normal, you know what I mean? get this out there. There we go. Two more. Yeah, I miss you both. How are your kids doing, Ty? Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I needed something different. I used I I have in the past. There's a another bow that I make that actually it's just it's just a nice accent sometimes. But I'll take the ribbon like this, like this, and like this. And then the two little, little um, tails. But sometimes what I do is I just have that. And I just put that in there. See how that looks? Just gives a little height, just a little dimension, different color. But, you know, not always the tails. I think 
Levine called them Robin's ribbon tails. That's what she nicknamed them a while back. Been a while since I used them. See the ribbons go against the red background here, the red um, mesh. We'll call it fishnet for lack of knowing exactly what it is. And then the eggs almost look like they're in a little nest here in this mesh. I think I got that from Bev, that mesh. It has fray on the end. See, I try to put them in different directions. All right, I think we're done. There we go. So what do you think? Is that Scream Farmhouse? And look, it's not that thick. So that would fit nice between screen door. Thanks, Will. Cheryl, do you have any bow makers? I mean, we used um, the easy bow on this one, and it's just a matter of starting with the biggest and piling up. There's a lot of people that make great bows. Really, if you just go to YouTube and you Google bow making, bow tutorials, bow DIYs, um, I know um, I know Lori has a lot of bow tutorials out there. Thanks, Levine. I thought I lost you, babe. We haven't talked in so long. It's been so crazy here, and it's about to get crazier. I might have three more puppies going out this week and some of the people are panicking because they're coming from different states and ay, ay, ay. yeah I think that I think that definitely I'm happy with it I'm happy with the sign we went we went round and round on that didn't we Levine <laughs> But I think I like it just the way it is now. You see, I can I can move my eggs different directions because they're on the tinsel tie. So there we go. And can I let you in on a little secret? As of six o'clock tonight, I had no idea what I was doing tonight. I cut it that short because <laughs> so it was a real, real crazy day today. So I just came down here and just started pulling stuff off the shelf that matched the sign. There's some static and it's got stuff on it. So yeah, my signs are, if not noted, are always $10 plus shipping. Some of the license plates are 12 but for the most part. You too, hon. Thanks, Willie. We'll see you soon. Well, there we go. We are done. And it's nice and thin. So there you go. I may have to tweak it a little bit, but I'm kind of liking it just have to just fluff it here and there. Hi, Carol. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. So that's one of my newest signs. Again, I'm working on the, um, the butterfly and the cardinal sign. They'll be coming up next, hopefully.
All right, guys, I'm going to head out. I don't know. I may add some of this in there. I don't know. We shall see. Got to go up and take care of Puppyville. We've got five left. And they, they like playing the new game, Dump the Water Bowl. And get everything wet. <laughs> they are keeping me hopping. All right, guys, you have a great evening. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for spreading the love. Um, it means a lot, your support. And don't forget, come Wednesday at 2 o'clock, it's Children's Craft Hour. So if you have any children or know of any children or grandchildren that would like to join in, I put a list of items they would need on my Facebook page. It's basically toilet paper roll tubes, empty ones, and some paper and paints. You too, Cheryl. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm going to head out, and I wish you all a great evening, and please, 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 please stay safe. Wash your hands. You know the drill. Okay. All right. Good night, everyone, and thank you.